Hey guys, this is Mike with Century Security Systems Incorporated, and in this week's video in the how-to series for the GeoVision VMS software, we're going to take a look at hard drives and just quickly discuss some things that you need to consider when uh, purchasing hard drives and configuring hard drives. As a general rule, so this obviously is a general rule, so it doesn't apply in all situations, but generally you can use six to eight IP cameras per hard drive. So what I mean by a general rule is that's going to change based on the megapixel rating of the cameras, the frame rate, the type of the camera, you know, fisheye, that sort of thing, as well as how much movement is happening in the image. The more movement, the more recording that you need because these systems do use what's called an iframe, which we'll discuss in a, in a future video. But in general, 6 to 8 at 10, you're starting to push it uh, you know, we definitely don't recommend going over 10 cameras per hard drive. So I'm just going to open up the VMS software here. And what we're going to do is, in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click on our toolbar and go to configure. Under configure, we'll go to system configure and then record setting. So this is going to give us our options. We recommend that you have the post record set to three seconds. The pre record we recommend that you leave turned off. Okay, we do recommend you leave use digital watermark protection on. Most court systems will require it. So if you if you do happen to record something that needs to go through a court system, the lawyers may want to know that that video is digitally watermarked. It proves that it hasn't been tampered with. Okay. Down here at the bottom, we're going to have a list of all of our cameras. This particular system only has one camera, unfortunately, um, as it's just a demo system, but it's good enough that we'll be able to get the idea here on how to configure this. So we have a couple different options under the record type. We can record by motion, which is pretty straightforward, or around the clock recording. So we'll just select which one we want to use. And then under storage, this is what we're going to look at in this this video this week. So here you can see I have storage one and I've got a little green arrow to the right. So I'm going to click that green arrow and this is going to allow me to create different storage groups so that I can maintain my goal of having six to eight IP cameras per hard drive. So I'm just going to add a couple for the purposes of this video. Okay, so I now have three storage groups. If I go to storage group two, I'm going to click the plus sign, I'll scroll down, and we'll pick a folder on the G drive. And for storage group three, we'll pick one on the E drive. Okay, now that's, that's done, you'll notice we've got a couple additional options at the bottom. Keep days. So this is important. Some installations will require a minimum number of days so depending on the installation you may have to require they may require a minimum of 90 days recording so in a case like that you could set the keep days to 91 now the thing here is is that if you don't have enough available hard drive space the system will stop recording so it won't overwrite it normally what will happen is that it'll record until the hard drive is full when the hard drive is full, it'll delete the oldest footage, making room for new footage. And that's what GeoVision is going to do by default, unless you change it to the keep days. The option below that is the recycle threshold. Generally, you don't need to change that unless somebody's been saving video clips or doing Windows updates or something, installing programs on the drive. So you won't generally need to change anything there. Okay, so that co covers those, so we'll just go ahead and click OK. So now we've got three different storage groups. So the process here is that as you add your cameras, you'll go in and assign it a storage group. Okay, so for example, you could do your first eight cameras, put them on storage group one, then after that we'll go with our next eight cameras onto two, and so on. Once you have everything configured the way you'd like it, you just go ahead and click OK. And you're all set. Thanks for tuning in for this week's video on the GeoVision VMS series. If you have any other questions, please contact me at MikeT at cctvcentury.com. And don't, for, don't forget to click subscribe on the video so that you'll be notified as we post our videos every week.
Thank you.